welcome back so in the next video we are going to see how the widgets work and if you remember from the last video we when we click over here we get all these widgets and they are pretty customizable uh, on right here you can see the uh, the one that I was talking about they will be stacked you can see these are three stacked and if I click on it it shows it open up and you know give me an idea what it is uh, how many are there and if I click on it then like one of these then it will open up the default mail and I will go, be able to go and uh, check all of them uh, so this is from the snippet from the last video but uh, I'm really interested in this one is the widgets now you can see I am not in Cupertino California and it's showing me the uh, weather from there I need to change it <clears throat> if I click over here you can see it's it's taken to Santa Clara California weather page I don't I'm not interested in that I'm not there how do I change that so if I right click it edit weather if I click over there now it changed and it's trying you know I can set up the location if I change it I'm gonna enter 43016 and that's the location let's see if it gets okay now I have my weather now it's more um, personalized now I can look so now uh, if I were to go and add uh, okay now it's taking me to Dublin Ohio let's close it <clears throat> so now if, it, if I were to add another city I probably will have to go and add it widgets and add more but let's uh, not do it right now and uh, focus what what we have over here if i right click over here i have three options medium so it's gone big or large and it's giving me a little bit more information and i kind of like it i want to see if a few days ahead rather than just clicking and then going to weather.com can i move them around and I guess I can same thing if you want if you don't like this widget you can always remove it let's add the uh, its time zone that's not my time zone all right so let's see what we have options for this times so added clock and I have this so basically it's some people like especially business uh, they have offices in different locations they want to add to this so they know what time it is in a remote uh, location that to better coordinate with their team now this money let's see and remove it we are not interested in Dow Jones right now and this one is set up screen time and system preferences screen time especially if the machine is being used by kids let's see edit widget and see what else we have we have seen these three we have a document writer I have no idea what it is and I don't want to add it right now or today's and topic these these are the news one if you are really into you know and getting interested in different uh news during the day you can add them folder notes photos up next list so daily activity daily activity is the i think it's right here uh, but it says screen time so basically it shows you uh, how you've been using this machine and forecast we already have that so these are some of the widgets you can see notice that some of them can be changed uh, by here like you can change their settings here and then add them uh, add is again either clicking the uh, plus sign or drag and dra drop now this is pretty very straightforward and simple for the widgets we're gonna wrap this video over here and oh, oh once more once you're done just click done and you will be exit out of there and back to your home uh, screen desktop whatever and uh, this is it i'm gonna wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share i see you in the next one